So we, we're joined now by Maria Paula McGurk, who is going to be talking about the Streams of Dreams exhibit, which is currently taking place in the Santon area. Um, it's an exi- exhibit by the Artily Gallery, and it is a compilation of, of various works by, by different artists, including uh, Maria Paula. Thank you for joining us on the line, uh, Maria Paula. Um, a very interesting exhibit taking place from now until the 28th of February. Perhaps you can first take us through how it actually came about. Hi, good morning everyone. Good morning. Um, so Streams of Dreams is happening at Artily Gallery, which is at Nelson Mandela Square in Sanson. It's a it's a collective of artists who work very differently in different concepts, different materials, who are coming together to put an exhibition together, which is um, quite it's quite enjoyable because usually when you have group shows there's a thematic link. And this time, it's the, the, the nature of the theme, Streams of Dreams, is acknowledging the different concepts that the different artists have and all of us coming together to show those different concepts. And Maria Paula, you, you are amongst those artists. I've had a look at some of your, your work um, online. Um, a lot of it is, is, is sort of um, in, in, you know, in black and white uh, and, and a lot of depiction of, of what I'm seeing as strong emotions, I would say, um, in the characters that you've, that you've depicted. Would I be correct in, in assuming that? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that um, every artist, uh, real job is to be very authentic and to try to portray their emotions and their experiences within a moment in time, within the society that they live. So my artworks have definitely done that. I, I've been keeping visual diaries since I was uh, at school. Um, and, and my works are about trying to grapple with ideas that I, I often can't verbally express, um, but through the medium of uh, artworks, I, I can get across quite complex ideas um, in a better way. Mm. Uh, I'm a paper cutting artist, which is quite an unusual material and medium in South Africa. It's common in China and Ukraine um, and Japan as a folk art. But in South Africa, there are very few paper cutting artists. And it's a very fragile medium. Um, it takes a lot of time. You have to, I, I literally cut out the image in one, from one piece of paper. So each artwork is one piece of paper that is then being cut in order to depict the image, the fragile image um, at the end of the, to, to create the artwork. I mean, it's a, it's a fascinating, fascinating way to, to kind of um, convey your work. How did you get into to paper cutting art? So I was, I was a painter for many, many years. Um, I actually worked with the founder and the owner of Artily Gallery for many, many years. She's also an artist and a painter. Um, and then about 15 years ago, my, or 20 years ago, my uncle, who lived in Hong Kong, he bought a gift for my parents, which was this very small paper cutting artwork. And for years, it, is, it fascinated me. How did they get such fine detail just by using a cutting tool? Mm. And I started experimenting. And it's, you know, I've been doing this new method for about 15 years now. And it's very difficult. And it's taken me many, many years to, um, to get to a rhythm that I can convey my style through this this medium. And in South Africa, because it's not a common um, material or common art form, I had to really search for the right paper, the right materials, the right approach without having, you know, the the traditional folk artists down the road like you would find in Japan or Ukraine. Mm. Um, So so I've I've been doing it for about 15 years. um, And it's a very special medium to me. It's, It's almost the opposite of painting. It's very concise and very specific. Whereas painting is, you can layer it and you can build it up. With paper cutting, you have to be very careful because it's one wrong cut and you, you may have to start the whole artwork again. Mm. Um, and, and it really does. It's, it's almost, it becomes almost a meditative um, experience for me where I can calm down and really, really focus on what's at hand, um, which, you know, in today's times, I think is really important for all of us to do to get a, a place to breathe and a place to reflect on, on, on the lives that we're living. Absolutely. Now, the other artists in your, in the, within the exhibition, Andrew, uh, Chabele, Bambo, Sibia, uh, there's only, t- there's also Tony Ann Bolenden and Daniel Stompi Um, 
you guys all have quite a different style. So how, how have you actually managed to kind of come together? You mentioned that, you know, as artists, you guys actually came together to formulate this. But, but what was the, 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 the joining thread, I would say, uh, between you all? So, so the, you know, that's really the role of a good gallery. Um, a good gallery goes out and searches for artists that they see threads of connection with. In, in this body of work, uh, all of us are very different. There's painters, there's paper cutters, there's printers. Um, the, the types and the styles of artists are very different. But the Artily Gallery has come to, has brought together artists that they believe in and they think have the potential to, to be investor artists or already are investment pieces, which mm. can appeal to both a local and an international buyer. So, um, you know, the, the artists, in this case, and often with galleries, the artists aren't the ones that are bringing together the body of artists. It's the gallery who sees the thread. And the thread, the conceptual link between us, as you know, the main streams of dreams, is, is acknowledging the streams that all lead into a river. So the connection simply is that we are all South African artists, contemporary artists, and really pushing our own identity within this context. Um, so, so ideally, the words are not similar at all, because, you know, the, the point of art is, is to stand out, is to be um, portray your unique vision of, of how you see the society you're living in. Yeah, well, that, that's that's fascinating, and I think you know people looking at at the work and the and the different artists in the um, exhibition will really find that there is that kind of uh, you know really difference in the in in what you're depicting, but at the same time, you know, you you come together in kind of depicting strong emotions. Um, that's kind of what I'm seeing that as the as the throughput from all of you. Um, just to to close off. Um, um, other than this exhibition, where can people find your work? So my work you can find uh, on the Artily website, which is artily.com. You can also have a look at my website, which is m9art.co.za. Um, and those are probably the best places online um, to view the work. Uh, you know, as a paper cutting artist, often my works, when people view them online, they, they look like liner prints. Um, so, so I really do strongly urge you to go and have a look at the artily.com exhibition to see what they actually are, um, because online doesn't always portray artworks in, in the honest reflections. Um, so, so please do go have a look, um, but otherwise have a look online as well and you can see what kinds of styles we do, um, yeah, all of the artists do. Thank you so much for making time with us, uh, Maria Paula McGurk, who is a researcher and visual artist. She specializes in paper cutting art, um, which is, you know, a, quite a different type of, of art, not uh, practiced that much here in South Africa. Um, her, her work forms part of this exhibition, which is called Streams of Dreams, which is at the Artily Gallery in Santon. That exhibition will be running until the 28th of February 2023, and it is open every day. From 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. So if you have time over this holiday period, you will uh, pop in there, have a moment to pop in there and see her work and that of the other artists displayed there.